Well, the Susan Rice revelations are big news affecting not just the Trump administration, but also our basic beliefs about how far the federal government is willing to go for the sake of a political agenda. It looks like they went pretty far this time. But you wouldn't know any of that from the American media, which seems eager to pretend this story does not exist at all. There is no evidence that backs up the president's original claim. And on this program tonight, we will not insult your intelligence by pretending otherwise, nor will we aid and abet the people who are trying to misinform you, the American people, by creating a diversion. However, Rice did not spread the information according to this former official who insisted that there was nothing improper or political involved. Now, there's nothing illegal or improper or even unexpected about a national security advisor unmasking those names. This appears to be a story largely ginned up, partly as, as a distraction from, from this larger investigation. <laughs> so they call Susan Rice's college roommate. She gives her a pass, so everything's fine. <laughs> Mark Stein is an author, commentator, frequently a fill-in host for Rush Limbaugh. You've heard him there, and he joins us tonight. Mark, are you satisfied this is merely a distraction from the <laughs> fervid swamps of right-wing media? Yeah, the, the media is basically annoyed because this, this is a distraction from their distraction <laughs> about the collusion between Russia and Trump. I mean, the, the most interesting thing to me about all this is, is that Susan Rice has apparently, as a practical matter, been surveilling Trump associates for a year, which basically means since New Hampshire and Iowa, which seems to me a very odd thing for a national security advisor to be doing. And you can bet... Uh, that if in that time they had found any kind of uh, meaningful collusion between uh, Trump and the Russians, it would have been leaked by now. And it hasn't been leaked because it doesn't exist. Have you noticed how the boundary markers have changed? So last night on CNN, Don Lemon, who I don't mean to pick on, I kind of like Don Lemon, but uh, he said this, let's, I'm quoting, let's be very clear about this. There is no evidence whatsoever that the Trump team was spied on illegally. <laughs> Which is right. kind of a big change. Uh, a month ago, it was, they, th it was totally false. They were not spied upon. Now, it's, they weren't spied upon legally. No, no, no. And, and, and that's the distinction. We all know that under the national security state, uh, we can all of us be spied on right. at all times. And the FISA court is not a very great protection against that. And so, in a sense, it depends on normal codes and conventions. Uh, that would stop this from happening. And you, you flip it around, Tucker. Imagine if in the last year of the Bush administration, the Bush uh, national security advisor uh, had been surveilling uh, members of Obama's inner circle. Do you think Don Lemon would be quite so sanguine about the fact that that's all hunky-dory and perfectly legal? I, I certainly wouldn't defend it. I don't think I would defend it, actually. No. What I find so striking is the press has jumped on Trump, in some cases fairly, for not providing evidence to support his claims. And yet, you're seeing in the last couple of days, the press makes claims that are every bit as unsupported. This morning on CNN, Chris Cuomo described this as the fake Susan Rice scandal. We don't know that. There's a lot we don't know. Why no. the suspension of curiosity all of a sudden? They don't seem like they want to know. No, and I think, I, think, I think, as you said at the top of the show, Tucker, the, the, uh, the, the biggest clue that this is a real story uh, is the fact that so many media institutions don't want to cover it at all. And what they have uh, to cover instead is really very thin gruel. Uh, someone who happens to be the brother of a minor cabinet secretary uh, met a Russian in the four seasons in the Seychelles after the election. Wow, hold the front page for that. Uh, my, my daughter, my little girl, met Trump last year, and next month she's going to be in St. Petersburg where she'll be meeting some Russians. So I certainly hope the NSA will manage to surveil her because St. Petersburg is a pretty dangerous place at the moment, and I'd be reassured to know she's under 24-7 surveillance uh, because she met Trump and she soon happens to be meeting some Russians. This, this, this stuff is... Uh, th th that's, that's the fake news. They're, an they're annoyed, in a sense, uh, in that someone has managed to out-fake their own fake news with the fake Susan Rice story. That's what they're <laughs> complaining about. <laughs> Nicely put. Mark Stein, mm -hmm. it is great to see you, as always. Thank you.